What's happening guys? Welcome to the Drum Central YouTube channel and Happy New Year. My name as always is Dave Major and we're here with another Lick of the Week. So maybe 18 months ago, I demonstrated a groove from one of my favorite albums, which is The Lost and Found by Gretchen Parlato. And it had the drummer, Kendrick Scott. Now I've dug back into that album and found yet another gem. So grab the PDF that's below and we'll get started. So the lick today, or the groove really, is quite simple in the ideas. The, the PDF looks pretty simple, but to actually play it at speed is a little bit challenging. So we're gonna start with a samba bass drum pattern. Now, if you don't know what that is, we're gonna play a bass drum on the one, a hi-hat on the and with our left foot, and then the ah of one on the bass drum. So we're gonna have bass, hat, bass. Now, when you loop that, you get bass, hat, bass, bass, hat, doom, doom, chick, boom, boom, chick, the classic samba bass drum pattern. That sounds like this. Now on top of that, in our right hand, we're gonna play a really super traditional Brazilian rhythm, which is to play one E and then A. Ah. Now on the E, we're gonna buzz. And now this is all gonna be on the right hand, so it's not like we're going right, buzz with our left, right on the A, ah. this is all right-handed. And then on the two, on the back beat, two and four to give it a kind of half-time samba hip-hop thing going on, we're gonna play just a really strong rim click on both two and four. So if I just play the samba bass drum pattern and then the right hand pattern with no left hand, it sounds like this. And now with the left hand on two and four, it sounds like this. Now at that tempo, it's pretty easy. When you start getting faster, your right hand has to really switch techniques. So in order to play the buzz, um, whereas usually I'd play with quite a loose grip, I sort of tighten up on the fulcrum to be a more traditional kind of how you're taught right, in the, right at the start, which is to pinch between the first knuckle joint and the thumb, and I keep it nice and tight so you get a... So you get a more crisp buzz instead of... Which tends to be a little bit sloppy. So let's try this nice and slow at 60 beats a minute. And now, medium tempo of 80 beats a minute. And finally, full song tempo, which is 100 beats a minute. So with all Brazilian grooves that you're gonna learn, please add a slight lilt to it. Um, samba or bossa nova have a, a kind of in-between straight and swung kind of feel to it. Please go and check out some traditional Brazilian music to kind of really experience that. Also go and check out this album because it's an awesome album. And head on over to the Drum Central website and I'll catch you next time.